Now to a CBS 4 health alert. Concerns are growing tonight after a second raccoon with rabies was found in Kendall over the weekend. The health department has now expanded the perimeter of the public health alert. Yet some are asking, is enough being done? CBS 4's David Sutta is live in Kendall tonight with the story. David. Yeah, Rudu Bay, both of the rabid raccoons were found in the general area we are standing right now. That behind me is Miami-Dade College's Kendall campus. The health department is saying that they want people to get their pets vaccinated, and they also want people to stay away from wild animals. The question is, will that be enough? Dr. Ian Kupke has had a busy weekend. Cuddle for good measure. Pet owners are making sure their pet's rabies shots are up to date, and those in need of one are not taking any chances. We saw it on the news, and, uh, you know, we knew it was right about time, so uh, we called and scheduled an appointment. Dr. Kupke gave Weezer his rabies shots. He was quite brave. Thank you for being a great patient today. But are rabies shots going to be enough to end what could be the beginning of a rabies problem? A week ago, retired veterinarian Lee Gerson was attacked. I'm standing there, and he comes out and attacks me, physically attacks me, saliva everywhere. And then roadkill on Kendall Drive tested positive for rabies as well. Saturday, Miami-Dade's health department issued an expanded public health alert. They passed out flyers, and the county has sent out nearly 40,000 phone messages to area homeowners. Reality is, Miami-Dade hasn't seen rabies since 2001. That's before the iPhone or even iPod was invented. Who is patient zero? And why after 15 years, all of a sudden there's two, you know? Uh, whenever you find one, you have to assume there's another. But at some point, an infected animal wandered into this area from a place where rabies is to a place where rabies isn't. And raccoons can cover a lot of ground. And that's the biggest concern. This could be a growing, moving target. At this point, no agencies are planning to trap or vaccinate wild animals. The health department stating right now it's about educating the public to stay safe and educating doctors on how to treat rabies should more people be attacked. Make sure your pets are current on rabies. Make sure your pets aren't left outside. Dr. Kupke warns that not all rabid animals are frothing at the mouth. Some of them are, quote, dumb. That's actually what they call it. The dumb form is when they're disoriented, they're glassy-eyed, they usually look drunk. Sometimes they can be unusually friendly. The point being that it's wildlife acting strangely to you. It's important to note if you have kids or have kids in the neighborhood, you should tell them that they need to stay away from animals. Now, if you are bitten or uh, come in an interaction of some sort, get scratched perhaps by one of these wild animals, you need to go to the emergency room right away. You need to report it. As for the testing, the health department is telling us that they will be testing folks that have interactions with these animals, such as a scratch or a bite. However, they will not be testing any of the wild roadkill that they come across. We're live in Kendall, David Sutter, CBS 4 News. David, thank you.